G'day and welcome to Any Auto TV. Today we've got the Volkswagen Tiguan, a brand new model that's been built from the base up. Uh, just launched in Australia and released now in June 2008. I guess you could call it a little brother to the two rank, but it's a bit more than that. It competes in the compact SUV market and uh, first impressions have been very positive. So let's go for a drive and see what it's like. As you can see, everything's really neatly laid out in the Volkswagen. I like the interiors. All the plastics are good quality. Um, everything sits where it's meant to be. The radio itself is all touchscreen, which makes it exceptionally easy to use. The LED displays for the temperature is great. It's a dual zone air conditioning, which is optional. Plenty of visibility. Looks good. One thing I particularly like about it is the nice thick rimmed leather steering wheel. Feels great in your hands and uh, it's a typical Volkswagen feature. Car drives well and actually it just cruises along beautifully. This is a really comfortable little car. One thing it does have is this enormous moonroof, stroke sunroof, which is a tilt slide function with a multiple positioning and it can just keep moving backwards into various positions. Quite a clever feature really. Let's close that up. And then we've also got the shade that comes across. And that can be held there for with the roof open as well. Okay, what we have here is the latest SAT navigation system from Volkswagen. This has got a 30 gigabyte hard disk on it, of which about 10 is dedicated to the uh, navigation system and another 20 is dedicated to downloading music. In the centre console there's a, an iPod uh, auxiliary in, so you can download either through that or through an SD card here. Downloading music is very easy. You can have a split screen function, which shows either a compass or just the full uh, navigation of where you're going. Uh, one thing it doesn't have is Bluetooth, that's a dealer fitted accessory, which when you're paying almost $4,000 for a navigation stroke audio system, you'd want to have the Bluetooth that comes with it. But apart from that, it's an excellent system. Uh, let's have a look now at an optional feature that it has on this vehicle, and only on the Tiguan and the top of the line Lexus, and that is the self-park facility, or park assist as they call it. And this really is a fantastic option for those that hate parallel parking. Okay. The multifunction display has your audio, your navigation, the settings for time, lights, vision, etc. And also your fuel consumption. How long you've been driving for, what your average fuel consumption is, how far you've got to go. It's a great system. Okay, let's now have a look at going and doing some parking. Okay, what we're going to do now is go and test out the parallel parking facility. There's a couple of cars up here. Um, we'll just check to make sure nothing's coming. Press the button to set it up. If you can see there it's telling you the park assist. What it tells you is each one of those boxes is a car space. So we'll just wait for this car to go and away we go. There are sensors in the front mudguard that, that will pick up the cars as we go past. What it's saying is that we're going past this car and it's picking that up now. It's picking the space up. What it's saying there is that yes, there's enough room to park the Tiguan behind this car. If we go a little bit further it says, okay, we're now ready. But that was a driveway, so we don't want to do that. So we'll go just a little bit further. 
So now we're on the park there, we'll go a little bit further past the next car and it says enough room, yep, ready to park. So what we'll do is we'll put it in reverse, check the mirrors, my hands are off the steering wheel. You might notice here the reversing camera as well, which has removes the fisheye effect from the reversing camera. So back to the steering wheel, we're just reversing along. The sensors in the guards are picking up where the car is in comparison to the car next door and it's steering itself. It's quite freaky really. All I'm doing is feathering the brakes and just making sure that we don't run into anything because it won't stop, it'll just keep going. Now the rear parking sensors are telling me I'm getting close to the car behind. The closer I get, the faster the bips get. I just put it in a drive, straightens itself up and it says, OK, please take over and park, finish off yourself. And that's it. Parallel parked, easy as. There's no complaint about whether we're going to fit into the spot or not. We know exactly what we're going to fit. This is an awesome facility. This is an awesome feature that I think every car should take. For $1,400, Volkswagen has brought this technology in and it's just fantastic. This is a really great compact SUV. Volkswagen have done a, an awesomely good job of extracting interior space out of a smallish exterior dimensions. Two people can sit quite comfortably in the rear. Uh, three at a pinch. Two adults with a child fits comfortably. And as you can see, there's plenty of power. Now under heavy acceleration too, the noise is not intrusive from the motor. In fact, it's got quite a good little growl to it, which is quite appealing actually. And it just sits beautifully on the road. Well that's it for the Volkswagen Tiguan. As you can see, it is a very classy looking vehicle. Volkswagen I think have done a first rate job here. Competes in the compact SUV market. Has loads of features. It is the only vehicle other than a top of the line Lexus that has the park assist function. Which is something I believe that most people would take as an option. Uh, we enjoyed our time with the Volkswagen. I think it's an excellent vehicle and uh, I believe they'll sell heaps of them. So congratulations Volkswagen. We'll see you again on the next edition of Any Auto TV.